Hey all, how are you doing? Um, here we are with another video uh, about modifying uh, an existing patch of mine, which I one that I shared on my Patreon some time ago. And what this patch does is to transform images, black and white images, into particles, and then you can uh, transform one image into the other. But a patron of mine asked me, how can we do that in a way that uh, I can just drop some more images here and uh, it will uh, not switch instantaneously to that image? Because now if you drop an image in whatever buffer of those, it's going to basically to transform us um, right away in that image. Instead, what uh, this patron of mine wants to do is to do this. So. What this patch does now is that it goes through a folder with images and selects randomly images from uh, the folder and the particles will transform into the next image. So uh, it's not gonna to transform right away when you drop an image inside it. And this is kind of nice if you want to have, uh, I don't know, an installation or something that just runs there and, and your images just keep transforming into each other and that could be pretty cool, I guess. So let's see how to do that. This is super simple. Right, so that's the original patch, which you can get from my Patreon together with this uh, uh, modified version. And we don't even need to go inside the shader, actually. We just need to modify the patcher here. So let's make a bit of space here. So let's get rid of, let's get rid of these. Uh, let's get rid of those and this message box here. And this message box we don't need. Let's get rid of that. Um, okay, so here actually we are going to drop a folder. So basically drop folder. And we're going to use a, a couple of U menus object to be populated with the content of this folder. So uh, let's say prepend prefix, that's message for the U menu object, which will then uh, will make them auto populate with the um, with the folder content. First, we need to go into the inspector and go into auto populate, right? So let's prefix that to both of them. So now, if I drop a folder with some images inside, uh, you can see that this files will be loaded, the file name will be loaded inside the U-menu and when we select one of those elements in the U-menu from the, from the middle output will come out the whole path to that file, which is pretty cool. So what we can do now is to connect this to the load image uh, abstractions, which simply load an image in black and white and uh, don't even remember what they do. Uh, yeah, then you can invert them and a bunch of stuff. So, for example, if we now go and load an image here and an image there, this is what appears in the uh, rendering window. And then if we enable the transform feedback, you can see that it starts transform feedbacking. Um, then now in the shader part, the shader parameters part, actually this U time was not really used even in the previous patch, so we don't really need it. What we need to do is to tell it to go to the... Um, to one image to the other with this uh, toggle. So if we change image here, then we tell it to go to the next image. But as you can see, when I change an image here, it's going to right away uh, go to that image and that's not what we want. So in fact, we want to completely delete this part here. I don't know why I did that. I think this was just, this was just something that I did when I was programming the patch and then it just stayed there. But this kind of messes up uh, with uh, our purpose here of just changing from one image to the other. So we just replaced these, uh, all this stuff that was there with a load bank to the first cheat matrix to fill the buffer. And then we attach another load bank here to this noise matrix that will fill the buffer. Cool. So now if we change the images now, Okay, if we change the image where the, which is not the current target, it's not going to automatically transform into that image. For that, we need to uh, toggle this um, toggle here, which says, okay, now go to from A to B or from B to A. Um, cool. So that's basically it. We can now automate this process. Let's say with a Q Metro four thousand. And what 
these will do this will send uh, go to image bang and these will automatically go from a to b so we could actually do like these we could actually use like a cycle object not the audio cycle but the simple cycle which just makes the message go first on one side output first on one outlet and then on the other so we can say go to b here or go to a actually and yeah we could say or go to b right so um these two messages will the go to b and go to a so go to a will the trigger i guess a one and go to b will trigger then a zero which will then make the images uh the particles move from one image to the other so let's give it a try sprint what comes out of you so print zero it means it's going to go to b and print one is means it's going to go to a cool so what we want to do now is just to automate the changing of the images so we want to do we want to change the image when the particles are on the opposite target so we want to change image a when particles are on b and we want to change image b when particles are on a so for example then we can say if particles are uh, going to a we want them to change image image b so we can delete that i don't know 2500 milliseconds in order to give some time to the particles to to go to the other side and then we simply select a random number uh, depending on our elements we have in our folders now i just say 10 but you can adapt that to the number of elements in your folders which maybe you can even get from the u menu object itself maybe with something like get items or something not sure though and so let's see if this now works um this means that uh, oh no because this is changing them the wrong place so maybe this was go to a and this was go to b so when it's going to b right right okay that's what we want because when it's going to uh to b then the image a is gonna change when it's going to a then image b is going to change right so that's image a and that's image b actually right because at least uh this is the nomenclature that i've used for the coordinates uh, for the buffers here so yeah i think i made a bit of confusion here this should just be uh go to b triggers actually one and go to a triggers actually zero and then this was actually correct so go to b and this was go to a okay this is just to be correct it doesn't really matter but if we call this b then uh, this uh if we call this b and this a then this will trigger one to go to b and zero to go to a okay good so this is it uh you can download this modified patch and the original version from my patron uh if you use this patch for anything uh, like uh installations or um performances or whatever and you don't heavily modify it then please credit me as the author of the patch Cool, I'll see you in the next video, probably going to be a tutorial, alright, have fun, ciao.